So hi everyone, I am Cleetia Alexander, one of Childline's virtual ambassadors, and it is my pleasure to be with you today for story time. The title of my story is Dreams Don't Work If You Don't Work. So let's begin. Three years ago, Miss Jane's husband died in a car accident, leaving her to provide for her two children, Kimberly, age 10, and Timmy, age 7. Since her husband's passing, Miss Jane found it difficult to find financially sustain their household. She was currently working part-time at a local supermarket as a distribution officer. However, she also secured a job tending to a few of her neighbor's gardens. Miss Jane loved gardening and she was excited to get paid for doing what she enjoyed. As grateful as she was for both of her employment opportunities, she was making just enough to pay her bills, pay her mortgage, and cater to the needs of the household, leaving little to no funds for leisure or fun activities with her children. While making cupcakes one afternoon in the kitchen, Timmy suggested that his mother can make extra money by selling her cupcakes and other tasty pastries she usually makes. Example, cake, cheese puff, sweet bread, cheese pies, and beef pies because they were so delicious. Mmm. Miss Jane responded with a chuckle and told him that he was the sweetest son that any mother could ever ask for and kissed him on his forehead before placing the cupcakes in the oven. They proceeded to the living room. While watching television, Miss Jane pondered about the bank loan she previously applied for to open her own bakery. But she was denied funding due to her inconsistent employment history. Her dreams were shattered. When she heard the bad news, ping, the timer sounded in the kitchen. Mommy, the cupcakes are ready, Kimberly shouted causing her mother to jump out of her daydream. While watching her children enjoy their cupcakes, she had a warm smile on her face and began thinking about selling pastry boxes on the weekend to make extra money. The next day, she advertised the sale of her pastry boxes via her social media accounts that, were, that was carded for the following Saturday between the hours of 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Orders and walk-ins were both encouraged. Kimberly and Timmy were excited to participate in the preparation before the sale. The day had finally arrived, and Miss Jane was in front of the house setting up her table and the sign for her sale. Later on in the day, the clock striked one and 50 of the 80 pastry boxes were already sold and she was very pleased. By 4 p.m. that afternoon, all the pastry boxes had been sold. Miss Jane decided that she will continue her sales because it was profitable. And on the third day of sales, customers started gathering early to ensure that they got their pastry boxes before they were sold out. A lady who appeared to be in her mid-40s approached the table and asked to speak to the baker. She introduced herself as Mrs. Thomas, the owner of Your Delight Bakery and Treats, and continued by stating that someone had given her one of Mrs. Jane's pastry boxes and she was looking for someone with her baking skills to work at her bakery. She added, that for the past three months, she had been looking for someone to fill the spots of her worker who passed away from cancer. Miss Jane was overwhelmed. And after more information was provided and they were able to make 
proper arrangement, she accepted the proposal. The end. The moral of the story. In order for your dreams to become a reality, you have to actively participate in their fulfillment. You have to put in the work to ensure that they become the reality in spite of the challenges you will encounter. But giving up is never an option. By having a dream without a plan for its achievements, it is similar to driving a fishing boat on the roadway. You are probably thinking, that doesn't make sense. And that is my point exactly. Having dreams without a plan is useless. It does not make sense. People are looking for others who are devoted and show a genuine interest in something before supporting them. You cannot do nothing and expect everything to operate in your favor. Also, use your social media accounts wisely for those who are business owners or intend to be business owners for building clientele and advertising your products and services. The end. Thank you so much for tuning in and do enjoy the rest of your day. Bye-bye.